Hey guys! Welcome to another game. It is now Dark Souls 2. And oh, there's a ghost by me. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, before I was really interrupted by that, um, today we're just gonna do some cool exploring and you know, collecting all the items. DLC at the end, but that's later. And then, uh, when I do like. And then uh, when I uh, do the DOC, we would do that, but that's in later videos. Hope you guys are interested in the DOCs. Uh. Oh my god, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we are actually going to explore a bit. And yeah, there is going to be a lot of exploring in, the, in this game. And then I might do like a plus one of Dark Souls 2 with um, a live stream though, but we do that plus one when I'm live streaming. So keep that in mind. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're in this beginning forest and it looks pretty cool. There's a cannon. Now, I think there's a monster that you can get the first ring. Um, yeah, we can go here, but I have to do that later when I'm strong enough and get, like, a better weapon. So, yeah. But we are going to go down here for this item. And we get the small, smooth, and s s silky stone. Yeah, we get a silky stone. And I believe that I missed another item over here, so let me just... Double check Sorry. I know, it's a lot of exploring. Um, I think it's over here. Yep, behind this trees. Rusted coin. So, yeah. For this video, we're just gonna... Beat the boss and these guys, you can actually kill them, but they will attack you in good place. We'll see them later on. When we reach to um Drake Lake. And that's lit in lay on the game. So yeah. And ooh, waterfall. <laughs> but anyways, enjoy the cutscene. We're gonna have a cutscene here, so I'll let you guys enjoy it. <laughs> what seems to be the right <laughs> Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You go hollow. Yes. You will become <laughs> one of them. Sorry. Hollows prey upon them. Feast upon their souls. <laughs> this is the fate of the curse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just love doing that. What is your name? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, but I just had to do it during the good scene. <laughs> She farted. The girl that was just walking in the background just farts. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, I'm just losing my voice. I am so sorry. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna have to do this. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Snip, snip, snip. No, 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 no. Here 
is yours. Oh. <laughs> Push it. Look at the can now. It's a human effigy. Oh. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's huh? supposed to be? Ooh, that is so cool. Think back deep into your past. <laughs> yes, it's an effigy of you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so yeah, during the cutscene, um, those were the Firekeeper girls. They are important to the story, and they tell you about you're going hollow, and then they're then they give you like a human part, which is those thing, those little things that give you the power to transform into like a normal human being, which you can do like online stuff and PAP, or if you ever get invaded. So yeah. So here you can create your own character. Yeah, cause let's see. You have the pride, explorer, sorcerer, clerk, bandit, swordsman, knight, and warrior. So we're gonna go as a bandit because you can get an axe. But we will find a, a shield later on and better uh, outfit. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And gift, we're gonna use the life ring just to kind of help us out a bit. And then body, we're gonna be female because we're gonna have a nut. Armor. Then hair, we're gonna use. Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, I like this one, the bud. Now, let's see here, we're gonna use. Um, I kinda do wanna go with white hair though, but no. We're just gonna go with. Norma hair, light brown. But join the plus one, I will make a character with a uh, white hair. Um, and then, like I said, we we can do the plus one later on with um, the live stream. And I can just make my character with white hair. So yeah, let's see, eyebrow, eye color. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is gonna take me a while to do this. So yeah, let's see. Eye color, tattoo, no. Two color, no. A person, no. Random, oh god, no. Um, age. We're gonna stay young. Lipstick! There we go. We want it dark or red. Yes. Yes, this is the one that we need. Okay. Kingdom. <laughs> Does it stand a chance? Well, you never know. 
<laughs> yeah, these ladies are mean to you. But you don't want to kill them. I mean, we would do them in plus one of the uh, life stream. So, yeah. And trot along to the kingdom. But remember. But we're going to try to save every single one of the NPCs there on the game. They're all so, yeah. but keep you from going hollow. And fool you no longer. You lose yourselves. All of them. Over and over again. <laughs> wow. That cutscene was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um but anyways before <laughs> Yeah, the kids. Um, I believe that if you do one of the girls' side quests, this girl right here will give you her. Will give you an item if you clear the forest. Yeah, we do that later when I'm stronger and have a better weapon, better uniform, and a better shield. Yeah, we can do that later. But for now, we can just talk to her, and she will introduce herself, so here you go. This is a limbo. A link between Drangleic and the outer world. Fair traveler, I know that you must have a story. Why else would you visit such a place? This lost, decayed <laughs> kingdom. All right, so so she talks about Drain Lick, and Drain Lick's gonna be very, very interesting. So we'll find out about that later. My name is Millie Beth. Millie Beth. The old women who once fire keepers. I am here to look after them. It is what my mother did, and her mother before her, and so on. <coughs> Sorry. Oh my god, excuse me. Sorry. But anyway, so Mary Beth has like a cool, interested story. So, yeah. She's gonna be quite helpful. And these are the fire keepers. Well, they used to be fire keepers, according to Mary Beth. But now they turn to old women. So, yeah. Let's see what they had to say. You must go on a journey without rest. Well, I suppose if you find yourself at an impasse, but if your will is yet unbroken, then you may return here to start again with a clean slate. Oh my god. I don't know why the fuck the dogs are barking at. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. You probably heard the dogs in the background. Oh my god, a dog. Jesus. I'm sorry, every time when I make like a video or a live stream, they go crazy. My guy, he's still barking? Maybe? The hell is he barking at? I don't know. I don't know what the hell he was barking at, guys. Jeez, I apologize. I apologize. Uh, buddy, yeah, Buddy's the loudest one of all. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you witnessed that. <laughs> Don't worry. Part two will be better, I promise. Hopefully the dogs won't interrupt the video. So, yeah, I apologize. Again, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, here we go. I believe you can see her eyeballs. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, you guys can pause the video if you want to see her eyeballs popping up. <laughs> there we go. See? Look at the eyeballs. <laughs> oh, I love this animation. <laughs> Character's eyeballs. 
Alright, so let's talk to you. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, she just laughs at you. What about you? <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> the longest laugh ever. I believe if you go up here, we can get chest. <laughs> I don't know why you had to do that, but it's funny. And why do they have like sacks of bags up here? That's crazy. But don't break any chests because there might have important items that you might need. There's also medics, so we have to be careful. Human energy, nice. Evan Ninja, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see here. The human energy. A, a warm, soft, uh, soft shadow-like energy. Use the item to reveal hallway. It also wakens the links into other worlds. Between inclinations and most computation. Pure clarity as the energy. <laughs> Sorry guys, I worked on reading. And one begins to prefer a human from but when what we saw so, oh god I have a hard time saying that word I am sorry I apologize from it takes depends on the person's look so cool and then we have life gin small storm made up of crystallized souls grinding we reasons a small ultimate of HP open from near entrant separatus as if it were what reasons of that soul. Hmm. So apparently if an enemy hits you or the boss, then you can actually use these and it regenerates. We also have a dark sign. Uh, in Adamant Mark, the dark infinite and death remaining, the player to the last bonfire resists at, at, at the cost of all souls head. <clears throat> oh my god, excuse me, sorry. I don't know why that interrupting. Jeez. Do what you most to gather the pirates supporting them into small same matters of a whole before the whole well to do so faces. Hmm. Interesting. And then we have a rustic coin. Uh, you guys can pause the video and read this if you like. And then the dark sun of the crystal. And the bone of other. Okay, oh why do I keep doing that? And and here's this that we got, so yeah. And then we have a hand axe. And short bow. So this is the the original hood that we have. And our spike bandit harm. And then the same thing. Bandit armor. Bandit gauntlets. Bandit boots. And here's our ring. That spells, arrows. Uh, later on, I would get some arrows, keys, spells. And different harm, armor, and gauntlets, and boots. Yeah, I think Dark Souls 2 is way better than Elder's Ring because I think Elder's Ring's just too much and you died easily. Especially when you had to deal with bosses. 
like um, Melania, Melania is the hardest boss of all here. And I've seen a lot of players deal with her. For once, I have not beaten her before, so. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys, if you ever beat Melania. <laughs> There. We got Soul of the Last Undead and Torch. Um, we're gonna collect a bunch of Torch for later on because I think this one dark area by the well, there is a PFP player and she drops something very important. So I'll do that like later on in the video. Just before we beat them, the rotten. So yeah, light up. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a shield, but we will find one. Or at least buy one. So yeah, we can go through here. And here we go. The first green thing. Oh god, I forgot it's this button to like... Attack enemies in RST. I keep thinking of Elder's Ring. Ugh. Then you go through here. This is this training ground, so yeah, you guys can just do the training if you feel like it. Or just go straight through the banner if you feel like it. But basically, these signs tell you how to do it. And that's the hippopotamus over there. See him? Yeah, we would kill him later once we get a better, uh, weapon. And there's the backstab. Um, the weapon... My advice? Use the red iron twin blade. And then the lightning jam, because it's easier to kill your bosses and enemies. Okay, this guy is it. Arrow and bow and arrow, so we gotta be careful. There are some archers in the game, so we gotta be very careful. As you can tell, he shot at us, but don't worry. We're gonna talk away a little bit of damage, but not a big deal. And there are a total of a lot of different rings, so I would try my best to collect as much items as I as possible. So yeah. And you guys can help me on the comments below if I find any uh, hidden treasure. Sorry, excuse me. No, 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 no. Okay, that just tells you the thing. Let me just kill this guy before I was really interrupted. There we go, our life gem back. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Yeah, so I don't accidentally do that. Don't worry, we'll get the Esca Floss. Once we enter Majula. <clears throat> but anyways, before I was really interrupted by that archer, um... Yeah, leave me a comment below if you guys... want me to collect as much rings as I can. Maybe you guys can give me some tips about how to get the Black Witch stuff. As well, because I want to get the Black Witch stuff, and then get the hat. So, yeah. We are going to try to do that later on. Um, and then I want to witness all the bosses for you guys. And then try as much pause in the menu and show you guys the boss soul. All of the boss souls. And then um, the DLC bosses, too. But like I said, the, D the DLC bosses are going to be a little bit harder than the normal bosses. So we're going to have to do some plenty of level ups to do that. But anyways, let's go. And for a bonus, I just want to show you guys to kill the mini pigs for... No, the small pigs for the mini pigs. And then the giant ones. But anyways, this is the bird nest. And... What you want to do is you want to drop some stones to them and they'll give you stuff. So I'm about to show you how to do that right now. See you right here. 
There's the subtitles. Okay, so do not use any of the silky stones. Instead, just leave them. You know, like that. And then they give you this. That's right, they give you Tech Knight Shard. Alright, so we're gonna find more of those stones later on. They give you, like, weapons, Tech Knight Shards, Slob, and Tech Knight. So, yeah. But, anyways, we have our very first. Oh. Yeah, our very first Tech Knight Shard. So yeah, pretty cool. So of the Neva Soldier. So here's this. And then here's that. Yeah, we're gonna collect a lot of souls because it's gonna help us level up a bunch. So here we go. <laughs> and then door number two. The same thing as before. There you go. Now be very, very careful when you come into this area because there's a hole here. And what you want to do is you want to run like this and then jump. Easy peasy. Then grab this item. And it's an amber herb. You would collect a bunch of amber herbs and if you have like a PFP NPC player, give them the amber herbs and they will help you up on, on your um, journey to beat the bosses. So yeah. Make sure you summon them and then help help them out. Or if they summon you, then they can help you out. Some can be okay, and some can invade you, stream snipe you, so yeah, you gotta be very careful. Even the covenants. So yeah, if you join every single covenant, you have to be very, very careful. Because if you don't, then you're pretty much screwed up. But anyways, we have to climb up this ladder. Now you can do this, but you would drain your stamina, so be very careful. And then we're going to do this, but before I do that, I'm going to gently use one of these. Just to kind of refresh my health a bit. And then here you go. What you want to do is you jump from this cliff and go like this. And then the same for this guy. There you go. And we're actually going to use two of these so so let's go ahead and use them that gives you that much souls and same thing for the small open this door crack red eye orb um those would give you ability to invade other people's worlds and you can do like p a p but if you guys don't want to do that, that's fine, but most of you get, most of you guys would do that. Some will and some won't, so yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a PFP. And we have like a statue over here. Um, we need a special item that can do that, so yeah. I'll come back later when I'm strong enough. And have a better weapon. So yeah. Here we go. We're going to go all the way to Majula. Now there are messages and bloodstains. Yeah, you guys will see a lot of bloodstains and uh, messages later on in the game. So yeah, here we go. In this area... Ooh, excuse the brightness. 
This is Majuba. Look at the background. So pretty. Oh my god, the ocean is so pretty. This is why I love Majula. It's so pretty. And so yeah. We have this. Drain Blessing. We're going to see a bunch of those later on. And I believe that just brings you to an NPC over here. And we're going to talk to this NPC over here. And he's going to help us later on in the game. So yeah, we're just going to go here. And there he is. This is none other than Benhart. He's going to help us later on in the game. So do not kill him. Just don't. You need him alive. And he'll give you something very important. Which I'm about to show you later on in the game. We got a whole bone and more life gym. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Do you this with me? Hmm. The way you end up so blocked up, you see. By this god off his statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pity it there? I'm in quite the pickle now. Yeah, he's talking about the statue over there. We would do that later on. See that statue? Gives me the release. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. Ach, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no cracks in the boundaries, perhaps. Hey, you don't think a real life person was turned to stone, do you? So yeah, this NPC is pretty interesting because he'll help you all on the run with the uh, quest. So you can he can help you with the giant king, and then he can help you with the looking glass knight and some other side quests. But we will do that later. We will do that later. So yeah, we we we'll do that later. But anyways, I want to show you guys these cool enemies. These are the weirdest enemies of all. And be careful, they can do poison on you. I call them ball sack enemies because they have ball sack. <laughs> Sorry, that's very inappropriate. I apologize. But let's see. Let's let Lundren's talisman. Ooh, um, you guys can use these talisman, and they will stop the minic, and you can pick up the items. I remember in Dark Souls One that you can do that. And these are explosive barrels, so be careful. See, just like that. As you can tell, I roll into the barrels. So yeah, do not go by the barrels like I did. And this is what happens when you die. You turn to a hollow. And we do not want to be a hollow. So I will use this door. I'll get more later on. So yeah. character just moves weird. So I'm just gonna remove some of this for now. So yeah, so that it's easier for me to row. We don't need our 
bow and arrows just yet, but later. Because, uh, there's this NPC, and he gives you poison arrows, so I would do that later, later in the game. But anyways, let's go back to the woods and, well, you know, get on the ball sack guy again, and then his little partner. Sorry if I say that, but, you know, it's true. And I think if you have like a whip, you can like whip the trees and they can repair your weapon for you. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> and a little, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. And a little hot at the end. into the barrels because you will be on fire and this is the statue that Ben Hart was talking about so we'll get that later and this is the NPC that is actually as you can tell she's kind of stuck yeah she's kind of stuck so we're gonna have to free her from the curse and then give her some clothes so we'll do that later Okay, so yeah, those were the butts the end for those two enemies. And they give you souls too, so yeah. And I forgot to get the items over here from the from the other side of the wall, so we're gonna do that real quick. <clears throat> and I'm about to uh, show you guys the two weapons that we need important. Uh, the hand hex does a pretty good damage, but it breaks so easily, so don't worry. There's like a repair spell that we can use, and it's gonna help us a lot. Oh my gosh, look at the little flag there. That's so cool. So what you wanna do is, you wanna come to over here. There should be like a little edge. Yeah, there's like a little edge right here, but not this one, it's the, I believe it's the other one. Yeah, this one right here. So what you want to do is, you go down here. So that will bring you to the forest area. Now do not kill anyone at Majula, because you might you might need help with them later, so you need it. So you go over here. You get some more life gin. And this is the blacksmith. He can actually repair your weapons, your armor, rings. And then you can buy like different weapons from him. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk to him. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. Yeah, he's talking about another NPC, which you about to see in this video. So, yeah. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. Chop, chop. <laughs> and there's a chest in there. So, yeah, we would do that later. Once we get the key. And here is another NPC, which she is over here. 
This NPC will actually help you out along your quest. And if you give her Esker shards, she will power up your Esker flask. And then you can level up if you have enough souls, and then that's pretty much it. So let's, let's go ahead and talk to her. So here we go. Are you the next one? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. And thank God the dogs finally stop barking. May it ease your journey. And I can make my and I can make my uh, videos a lot easier for you guys. Again, I apologize about that. Right? Oh. He who made Dranglake what it once was. So he ignore the background noises that's the, in the background. That was just the dogs. Okay. So yeah, basically she talks about Vendrick. Anyway, Vendrick is the king, and he was once ruled by Drenlik. It was him and his royal companion, which you're about to see him later on in the game. But anyways, uh, let's see what we got. So yeah, this is Escaflosk. It regenerates your HP. And be way better than that. And here is the poet bone, hammer herb, and divine divine blessing. Divine blessing actually helps you a lot. So yeah. Oh, and then here's the dagger. And the crack red eye orb. Alright, so yeah. Go ahead and use this. So yeah. And talk to her. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger uh. souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and powerful. Okay, you run the bed. <laughs> Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. And we can talk to her. Over the hill and past the forest is the king's castle, where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it, if those who come to Dran Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. I'm sorry, but Majora's gonna make me fall asleep. So. <laughs> I run text to him. Although he does offer sound advice. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. Oh my god, excuse me, I am so sorry. That tiny thing inside the room. I had a zero cook earlier and some of my Wendy's, so yeah. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her own good day. And then I had my lobster and some, uh, noodles, so yeah. <laughs> the sign you bear will drain your very souls. And without souls, you will turn hollow. Stay strong. Do not lose hope. Even when you have precious little time. For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead. 
but only one step closer to hollowing. Not all undead are hollows, but all hollows were once undead. This is pretty good on um, history because I really like how she says that don't lose hope and don't go hollow. So yeah, we're, gonna, we're, we're definitely not going to be hollow. So yeah, we're going to collect as much human energy as much as we can and then storage them. Because there's like a secret shrine that will actually revive you from a... Uh, Oh. If you find Investor's shard, bring it to me, so that I may ease your burden. Okay. So yeah, she mentioned something about shards, and let's go for shards, so we will find them later on in the game. So yeah. Alright, here we go. I just love doing this. Now the light jam. We're just gonna collect as much items as we can get. And then we will come back later to go to this area. Which, yeah. But anyways, I kind of just want to go here. <laughs> and here we get our first shield. Sansman's Paramount. And you probably remember this shield from uh, Dark Souls 3. Yeah, we can equip this now. And now, we have a beautiful shield. Don't worry, we can get a better shield than this. So go ahead and pull on this. We're in some kind of sewage. Like any other soul games. Um, Demon Souls actually had it too. Yeah. I mean, this game came out in 2015. Same with the uh, Fallout 4 and uh, Elder Scrolls, so yeah, pretty good. But right there we have a another soul and a broken thief's knife, so yeah. Very stupid. And this brings you to this area. Hi. Hayden's Tower of Flames. So yeah. And we have this cool enemy right here. But. Don't angry him. Until we're strong enough. So yeah. Um. In the vanilla version. There was. These guys now spawn. Light this up. And we're gonna organize the dagger and the broken thief sword. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and equip this. There we go, see? It helps our health. And then we're gonna try back to Medjula. I just wanna show you guys that cool area. See what twin blade. Oh, I don't have the bonfire from Majula, so now we're gonna go back to the first one. All right, so yeah. Now that we got our shield, we should be good. And we got our first tech knight shirt as well. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this shit's gonna actually help us. Oh, and you can parry too, so yeah. Parry in that PFPS if you like. For like, invade someone's world and then do PFPS with them. 
Then they would drop you like humanities. Uh, yeah. Alright, so yeah. Yeah, it's this area right here. Yeah, just drop down here. Drop down here like that. And pick up this one. So we got Moon Star, Clerks. Sindra Chime, Sindra Chime, excuse me, I have a hard time pronouncing that. Here we go, binoculars. Binoculars are actually going to help us later on in the game. So, yeah. So, here's the Moment Star, and the binoculars. Also, the Chime. Which we won't be using any chimes. Because we're not a clerk. So, yeah. Alright. Go ahead and like this. You can also burn some stuff. But we'll do that later. Organize that as well. Probably don't need it, but keep the binoculars just in case if you want the view. Now we're actually gonna go up here and talk to this NPC. Now he'll give you a, an item if you avoid death. So yeah, let's see. You're undead, aren't you? <laughs> you have that distinct scent, the smell irreversible. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Drag Lake these days, there are very few places like that. Now he mentions Dranglich. Everybody keeps talking about that, so yeah. We'll find Dranglich later on. I am Sol. This is Sonden. Like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. You've probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. <laughs> There's nothing here. Sorry, I just had to do that. I believe this is the first covenant that you can join. Even I'm not certain. That Don't worry, later on there'll be more covenants. I'm told that the sword is the essence of life itself. Any human living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. But we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk. <laughs> Look at my outfit just going for the wind. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you will sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. <laughs> if that frightens you, then you want to just... Nah, it doesn't frighten me, buddy. Now. What are you talking about? Like <laughs> that laugh. Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of the undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the blue sentinels? When you face danger, Okay, so he mentions blue sentinels, which is just the covenant. So we are going to join the blue sentinels for now, until 
we get our special ring. There we go. Blue silver. That is a wise decision. People are weak, but the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Okay. We'll talk to him later. Now there is another covenant that we can join over here. And it's just over here behind the the sewage. Go ahead and use this. There we go. And it's this one right over here. Plus there's an item over here. We can enter this one. And then we give us a special item. And there we go. That's two covenants that we joined. Um, but I would join the Red Covenant. Because the Red Red Covenant is pretty cool. Alright. And these are the statues. Which I'm about to show you guys the statues later on. We can enter here. And we have a beautiful kitty kitty. So let's talk to her. Oh, I'm dead, Ollie. No, she's invincible to kill. One without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Don't think about Kiva time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> Whoa. Well, suit yourself. Oh, yes. You may call me Shalqua. Enchante. So. What did you want, anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> Don't eat me. I taste terrible. Okay, so she has, like, good stuff that we can buy. We can buy the Ring of Whispers. That's going to come in handy. The Nere Curse Ring. Super helpful. And the Reader's Ring. That's going to help her. And the ring of eye, evil eye, is going to help out. And this one, the cat ring. We're definitely going to need the cat ring for the fall damage. Then she's got some uh, hollow bone. Passive stone, illusion skull. <clears throat> there are, the illusion skulls are also from the first, third, and then the second. So yeah. And more in love than talisman. Perfect. But we are going to get the uh, cat armor later on, so yeah. I think that's from beating the rotten, but we do that later. Nothing super left. Okay, yeah. We'll go back to her later for the cat armor. So yeah. Oh, and then those rings. So yeah. And then there's one more NPC in here, which is this guy. But before we talk to him... Let's go get this chest up here. And then there's one more NPC after uh, Majula, so yeah. There we go, now we have two Technic shards. So yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, uh, hello there. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. I'm Morgan. This is Morgan. Morgan would give you a free armor. Sorry, I, and the boss stuff, so... Yeah. I could really we can kill him this. later, so I can get his beautiful outfit. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so he has the warrior stuff, he has 
the infinity stuff. He has the flare of harm. Armor. The boots and gloves. And he has the Iron Pantra, Twin Dragon Great Shield, and the Silver Edge Kilt Shield. I guess I buy this for now. Thanks very much. I came from the West. Have you been there? Very good. But I didn't see. Was I even there? Everything. Well, I. I well. There we go. Yes, we have a better shield now. This is going to help us a lot, so... Let's go ahead and collect some more souls. And then come back to Majua and level up. So we can use it better. And then there's another chest. A oh, plus one's going to be, be very hard. Hard for me to deal with because it's gonna kill me a bunch. <laughs> Another rest of coin. I right, we don't want to go with this one, but this one right here because it has a lever. Open, open. Slow but sure. <laughs> All right, go ahead and come in here. And then just gently go around here without falling off. Slow, 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 slow. Okay. Grab this, and then we can just do this. And there we go. This will bring us to the forest. Ignore the hippopotamus. Forest, barren giants. And that this will just lead you to the cave. Ah! And he also drives life, Jim. These enemies drop good stuff. So watch out the forest guys. And these guys are paying a buck. Okay, yeah. for this archer. There we go. And do with that guy too. And yeah, those guys are super annoying. Now you want to climb up here. Now be very careful in this area because there's a guy that throws shit. Alright, do this. Ooh. Green Blossom. Now there is an item over here. So let's see what the message says. I failed. It is. Oh, excuse me. Yes, 
Sit your ass down, boy. Throw a knife. So yeah, that's gonna come in handy. And there is a weapon here that we can get. Another soul. Wow, my god, the forest looks super cool. You. Yeah, you wanna kill this guy. Because he will throw shit at ya. Jump over here and get this. Yeah, there we go. See, short sword. And go like that. Now that you're taking care of the bomb guy, now... <clears throat> now that you're taking care of the bomb guy, um, it's safer for you to get those items. But there are other enemies that we've yet to deal with. So here we go. Such as this. the life gym. Yeah. Oh. Broken short sword. Human energy. Nice. Broken short sword, okay. Ah. Okay, now that you're clearing out this area. Oh, one more. There you go. Go down here. And I'm not going to reset the enemies, but my weapon is going to break, so I got to be very careful. Go ahead and collect this bonfire here. Oh, that's right. All three of these and this too. There we go. Alright, but do not spend any of the boss souls. Keep the boss souls because you might need them for like weapons. Okay, I thought I cleared the enemies, but okay. Okay, yeah, they're all dead now. It's safe for us to go in here. Now that we clear out that area. Now we gotta go here. That. that with a boat and back that in there we go ah you up
Squigmans out of the way. Wait, wait. Oh, this is gonna break, so let's go ahead and use the short sword. shield. Now, we're going to equip the bow and arrow. Ow. Jerk. Stop shooting at me. Now, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, get him out of the way. He's super annoying. We're going to buy some more arrows. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and do this. Watch out for this guy with the halberd. Look! I'm oh, not have with the sword. There we go. Witch and yarn. Then I believe that there's like this item over here. I'll do that later. Because uh, there'd be like a and PAP character too. So yeah. Alright, go ahead and do this. Now, I think I'm going to summon the sorcerer guy to help me out with the pursuer. I'll do that in the next video. Alright, so let's see. Organize that. Organize the short sword for now. And organize these two. And we're good. I like this merch. She's funny. My name is Menincha. Menincha is her name. You're a stranger to this land. We so the first boss is going to be the last of the gen, so off. we're going to do that one. Watch this, if I run away, watch. See that. But anyways, we can go up here, and I believe that there's a crystal lizard up here. Break this. I 
Hey, bitch. Yes. And there we go, another hand axe. Just use it by some of bricks. Hmm. Yeah, you're not fooling me, buddy. And go ahead and pick this up. Small white summon sign and revive like gym. I believe that is the item down here. Divine blessing, okay. All right. Go ahead and do this. Escape me this time. All right, we got him. And there's a chest here. Repair powder. That's gonna be coming really handy. And we got another cool shield. See the boob. We got the boob shield. <laughs> There we go. We're also going to organize this too. Alright, let me show you guys the Kunu armor that we just got. Hehehe, <laughs> we look so cool. Oh yeah, we can also wear the, the original clothes. Ah yes, we have the boots. Nice. She sells a club and citrus. So yeah, and Hendex. She also has the Traveler stuff. The explorer stuff, so yeah. Humanities, Life Jam, Ember, Bomb, Witch's Yarn, Bone Knives, Bright Bugs, and the Pharaoh's Blackstone. So these are gonna come very handy. And nope, the Prime and Pearl from Yarn, Super Helpful, but we're gonna need this guy's key. No, no, thank you kindly. Now we can go back to Majula. Ask a flask. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, and then there's one more secret thing I need to show you. Punch that, and then you grab this. Ask a flush eyes. Okay, these, these little pigs are tanky. We're not strong enough. We'll come back later when I'm strong. Whoa. 
Look at that nice out outfit that this guy has. Pretty cool. Alright, here you go. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me back. I got you, stinky key. There you go. Ah, yes. Very good. Now I can get to work. But first, let me set up. Come again later. Alright, he's done. Now let's go ahead and grab this. And it's the bowl that we just had, so yeah. But if we sit in the bonfire, you notice that he's not sitting on the front door. He's actually in here. You stand back. This is dangerous work. The name's Lenigrast. This is Lenigrast. He's gonna help us out. Excuse you? The man ought to labor with his feet planted firmly in the earth. Not roam around like you flirtatious vagabonds. Oh, ugly man. <laughs> I like how he holds the tools. That's funny. Your equipment. Let me have a look. Be doing quick. The bus, Doc. We'll watch to see her later on. Okay, so yeah, he has the long sword, he has the bruiser sword, okay, the booster, the bastard sword, <laughs> excuse me, and he has the falcon, he has the atritic, the parlor, ooh, a battle axe, that's gonna be really handy, he also has a mace, and a spear, and he does have heavy bolt, Wooden bolt, iron arrows, wooden arrows, and he does have technic shards and repair power. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and level up. Is that a show here to see light? However. Let's go ahead and give her this. I want to upgrade the string. And then decks. Alright, uh, let's go back to Malaysia and get some more of Let's get some more life gems from her. Thank you. Yeah. 
And I guess we can buy like one bomb. Thanks. I know, thank you. Yes, now we can use our shield. Souls, so that I can get the Ferris Stone from Malincha. So I like the secret. We'll come back down there later. So yeah. There's the helper guy. There we go. There we go. Another soul. I believe that we need a key, so yeah. We can do that. Firebomb! Ha! <laughs> we got a free firebomb. This guy's coming. X boy's coming, so we're gonna have to kill him. There we go. I'm going to drop down here. We got another torch. Be careful of the archers, they're so annoying. And you. Get over here. Damn. There we go. I want to get that item over there too. Alright, so now that you took taken care of the archer. This guy has a shield, so... Uh, here so I'm not getting shot at. Hehe. <laughs> just kind of go like that. And then take care of this guy. up here. And then take care of this clown. Alright. Now that that we took and care of the archers, they won't be a threat. And it's easier to go over here. over there. But we're just gonna ignore him. Kinda go like this. And then grab this. There you go. Okay, now, we just gotta go here, and we're just gonna ignore the archer for now. 
Because we've taken care of the other two. Yeah, just go like this. Whee! And check this out. We can go in here, talk to this NPC. Another humanity. Amber herb. All right. We have another NPC. We're going to talk to him and he'll give us the key. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming, I think. <laughs> My name is Kale. Hey, I'm Kale. A like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. So, yeah, he's basically we're looking for a map. And every time we light a bonfire, it will show the map that he seeks out. Why cartography, you ask? Well, it's a good question. When I first came to this forsaken land, it was a curse. I'm sorry if this video is long, guys. So, yeah. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Drang Lake, the Lost Kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen the Jula? Well, there's a rather spacious mansion here. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Drang Lake. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes, yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. No, that wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. <laughs> Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you're fascinated by maps, just like me. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Husky, there we go. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Be careful, please. I'll be back in the jeweler soon. Perhaps we will meet again. All right, this so yes, yeah. that's pretty much it for him. And as you can tell, he's digging while looking for something. So yeah, we're we'll meet him later in the jeweler. And yeah. Oh my gosh, do not go through the hole here, guys. Do not follow that. Don't follow the messages yet. <laughs> now, I believe that we can climb back up. I'm going to repair my weapon real quick. There we go. I repair my weapon.
Fire bombs. Ha! <laughs> I did it without fall damage. That was sick. That was sick. Super sick. Yeah, we're gonna have four of the archer. And watch her of this guy, the turtle man. Yeah, I'll come back to this area later once I'm done with the pursuer. What in the world am I doing? Try it again. Let's try that again. I keep thinking about Elder's Ring with the Y button. Okay, yeah. Okay, stop it. You know what I mean. Rude. No, I mean three. You can go fuck yourself. It's so annoying. Oh, I got the gauntlet. That guy was rude, yeah, he was. Pokemon. Alright, now we want, we want to come in here. Firebomb. I'm gonna need some more light beams. Get the great soul. Our first spell. And ooh, we got blue shield this time. Alright, so the archers are dead. The one that ambushed us. Now this is when you need the Pharaoh Stone. Because there's a secret that we need. Which I would do that later. Oh Jesus. Yeah, watch out for the traps. Don't do that. Oh, watch this. <laughs> And they're open the door for you. Hi. <laughs> Hope he's dead. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, go away, have 
little boy. You're annoying. I miss you up. Pokey, get out of here. Wind and spear, baby! And now we can get this chest. And it gives us large tech net shard and the same ring that we have. Alright, cool. We taking care of the ambush. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this so there we go. And go ahead and grab this. And here is another NPC. He's gonna help us beat the boss, so yeah. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. <laughs> well, I hope you have a very good reason. Well, hogwash. Who am I to judge? <laughs> My name is Pate. Hey, Pate. I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt. Um, Pate will meet us later on at the castle once right you there. free the other Let's NPC. And those two will fight to the death, so... We're actually going to help the guy to be Pate. And I'll explain that one later on on the video. We're actually later on in the, the uh, next videos. So here we go. Oh yes, you be cautious if you go any farther. There's treasure in there for certain, but the entrance locks from behind. I saw the same design earlier. And it's the same contraption, I'm sure. I was with this warrior, you see, and he insisted that he go inside first. <laughs> he mentioned Your something about what? The fellow tried to swipe the loot for himself, but trapped him inside. I still have the gent's ring. I do hope he wasn't harmed. Gent's ring. I'll leave this one to you. I'm worried about what might be inside. Oh, he's sweet. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Okay, we're showing this. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Oh my god, these guys are so annoying! I hate those enemies, they're so stupid! Stupid ambush freaks! Tower shield, ooh! Oh wait, we unlocked the secret. <laughs> what the am I doing? you! Stop poking me! My god. Well, as you can tell, we can't go back to the gate, but we can do this. Well, I see you managed to escape. I hope that brave warrior didn't come across for either. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh. But you should take this. There we go, you give us the white summon sign. It allows undead to call out for help to one another across the fissures between worlds. With luck, somebody will lend you a hand. Thanks, Pete. Well, I see. I hope that brave. Be careful now. Okay, he just says the same time, like. 
Alright, we're gonna go this way. Pokey, get out of here. See how I had to pull up? <laughs> Super annoying. Just gives me a crossbow in Can leave you alone. Jesus. What? Baka, you guys are so annoying. Those two are out of the way. God, I hate this sort of guy. Fucking ambush bitches. You're dead. You get the hell away from me. Jesus. Annoying. Okay, that's a secret. Dino's nice. And this is a chest. <sighs> All that for a stinking sorcerer's tablet. But it was worth it. There, Major got my souls back, and I got my revenge. I love paint. I got the chest, by the way. It wasn't easy. <laughs> Alright, now I can do this. And now... Whoa. Excuse me, I was stuck on the barrels. <laughs> Yeah. 
here, bitch. Hey! That was not nice. You're rude. Stop poking me. You're not the spear, guys. Enough of that. Mini bunker and ooh, infinity harm. Another beautiful harm. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, and I made you got the um, Hollow Soldier Gauntlet. Oh, check this out. Why? Why is always be pokies? The bad I mean, oh my god. Really? Pokey first. Mr. Halbert. Get out of here with that. You in the room. Ah, oh, we got another life gem. Okay, just one. Just one. Ah, itch. You don't attack me twice. Hey. What the? Okay. Screw this, screw it. What the? What the hell? Fuck off, you stupid morons! I'm sorry, but those guys piss me off. I swear. This is what happens when I don't get enough life chance. Will you stop that? You're annoying me, you stupid spear boys. Stop it. Get out of the way. Why are you blocking this stupid door? Fuck you. And fuck you too. <laughs> Bitch! Hunt me, get for killing me. See, what I really hate about it is that they gain up on you and get super annoyed. 
So mini bunker and wooden spear. Oh, and then one broken short sword. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna sell the broken, broken bandage sorry. This, the broken short story. And the hand next. Give me more of this. No, thank you, kind of. Give me some of that too. No, no, thank you. Why do we don't have to deal with those embouchures? I'm a white doorman. <laughs> Power sword doorman. Woo! Oh, yeah, look at that. That was super cool. I'm going to get rid of the gun. Yeah, what can super sexy? <laughs> Look at those animations. <laughs> Fire arrows. Large leather shield and then another light shield. Thank you. Alright, now we can go beat the boss. Um, yeah, let's just go here because there's a big guy and I'm not going to do it. Alright, so we'll come back later for that. Oh, that's right, I got attacked with Pete.
Well, in that case, let's do that real quick. And since it's just a two enemies over there anyway, so we might as well do that real quick. Oh, that's right, I haven't... Oh, excuse me, Pokey. You interrupt me. How rude. Stop it. You're rude. Thanks for the reviving life jam. Okay, Pete's gone. I'll come back later for those items up there. Because the pursuer is going to be annoying, so... I got stuck on the rock. Can we make... Oh. Yes, thank you. Put the crossbow in there, and the staff, and then two more shields. So yeah, I think we're good. Alright, moving on. Let's beat the boss, and then we can end the video. And join off camera, I'm gonna get the items from the forest. And then that's gonna be it. <laughs> well, yeah, there's no summon sign. Okay. Alright, let me go back to Majula and join the blue cabinet. Yeah, we're gonna join the blue covenant. I think we're gonna join the blue covenant for now until we get to the red covenant. So yeah, let's see. Okay, yeah, there you go. You had to join the blue cup. And I believe that if you go over here, the shopper should have new stuff. Oh, I stock some new things. They've been selling. Um. Yes, the Elite Knight. I want this so badly. Always up. We're going to get the Elite Knight. 
All right. All righty. Back to Valencia. I believe she was bound to Majora after we get the uh, Pursuer and Giant Singer's dress. It was like a dress. I think I know where that is. See what happens this time. Okay, there's the sun sign. Okay, yeah, that was weird. So we're going to summon Major and Metro Height. And then so see if it was lost. We're going to summon both of them. <laughs> he does this cool emote. Art of Jester. Okay, cutscene. You guys are about to see some very cool firepower. He has a butthole. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. See all the swords? That's the big one. This boss is not too hard. He's pretty much easy. Mm. <laughs> this is where you can use this. <laughs> Good job, boys. And there we go. All right. We've beaten the boss. Now let's go back to the elevator. And... Up myself and nearly a place to sleep. I swear I'll keep 
people who make things right with me. You may travel light, but methinks you bear a burden of your own. <laughs> As my axe goes right for her face. Oh, the pursuers should be a lot easier. It's time that I pick up and move. Up a bargain for you. Next time we meet up. Hello, Lady I like Melinda. She's funny. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Um, we're going to go back to meet you. Uh, to uh, level up, and then we're gonna get the Pharaoh stone from a legend. Ah, oh, shit. Bearer of the curse, seek Alright, let's level up. Dex, strength. Look at that. Boss soul side dogs there and use it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get more light light gems. for more humanity and some life gems. Maybe some amber herbs and Richie's yarn. And then the bug bug. And then this. Okay, yeah, we'll come back later. But for now, I think I'm gonna buy these. You earn a militia, we we'll give you a ring. Alright, so yeah. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys the easier way to beat the pursuer. Short to lay off. Oh, we have a summon sign. <laughs> I think I need to plop down. Yes, we can open this. Oh my god. You are a dick. Open this to get our special chest, and it's just over here. Yes, and we're gonna equip it. Oh, yes, this ring will help us with our HP. Oh, we have this clown. Dury, what are you doing here? Yeah, we're gonna 
keep backstabbing him a couple of times. Look at his uniform, so cool. Oh my god, I was sick. You just want to stay behind him. He's actually not that hard. He has a great um, shoot on him. There we go. Oh, you see that? There we go. What we got here? Greater the Drake. Great the Drake. Ooh, another cool weapon. Amber Herb. I believe that he won't spawn anymore. Sorry, we have another axe. <laughs> Alright, I stand by the door. But we want to make sure that we clear all the skeletons, first of all. Luckily, they're not hard as, uh, Just want to grab this item. I'll come back later off camera for the others. Black firebomb. <clears throat> and this is Rifrit at Alpha List. So we're gonna go ahead and summon him. There we go. Rifrit at Alpha List. Now he can help us beat the... The Pursuer. Nice, he killed someone. See, you can help me beat these clowns. Yes! Leave him alone. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those two were annoying. I'm glad he took care of them. Plasma fruit. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to switch our X. Thanks 
so you too. Whoa, he was using dark magic. You see that? I love this guy. He helps. He helps you out a lot. All right, so he's gonna distract the pursuer. And watch this guy. So you guys are about to see the pursuer box. Get a cutscene. So yeah, two bosses in a row. Not bad. My uh, part one. Uh, but two would be uh, four sentinels in the last set. The pursuer. <laughs> Let me destroy both of them. Because Magic Boy would decide to do his name. Oh, see, he does that and then he will turn into all of them. Leave me alone. Normally never does that. Hey, he never he never normally does that. He never breaks the um the the bow things. The crossbow things. Wow, that that was just sad. Alright, let me just beat the enemies a couple of times and make them despawn so that they don't interfere. Especially this clan. And this guy. All right, Magic Boy, you know the drill. I'm gonna let him deal with the two clowns by the door. And then the other clown. Get out of my face. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Teamwork, yeah.
Alright, let's try this again. Damn. And this time, we're not gonna let the sewer destroy the thing that we needed. Okay, go after him, please. Shoot him, oh my goodness gracious. This never sucks. I hate having a weak axe that doesn't do shit. I need a better weapon. I can just do with one of them. Just fine. You can always get more from the lens, yeah? He's coming slowly, surely. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. <laughs> Love that. Thank 
Jim. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. This time it's the first story. This time story is we're gonna stay here. does that. Fuck! I hate this stupid boss. He's so annoying! Every time he keeps destroying the stupid catapults. Now, I don't have any human energy. What's up? This hen axe doesn't do shit. So stupid. You know what? Let's get a better weapon. And some souls. Why not? Okay. Grab this. Ah, oh, fire along. Again, guys, I'm sorry if this is so long. This boss fight is so annoying. This is much better.
<laughs> I'm gonna keep doing these so that way the uh, pokey pokies <clears throat> don't spawn anymore. Alright, let's try this again. Power Swords and Gauntlets, which we already have. Please, Sorcerer, you need to focus on the Pursuer. Yeah, this is way better than the stinking axe. Way to deal with it. Alright, I'm gonna try to go over here. Yes! Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, screw your pursuer. Okay. <sighs> that took forever. But we managed to did it. I am so sorry, guys, if this video is so long. Alright, let's get rid of the Pokemon. Stamina. <laughs> Idiots. And right here is after a lot of items. Hell yes. Like little bitch. All right, I got all my items that I needed over there, except for the Ferris Stone key, and I managed to get my souls. All right, let's go back to my Julia. That took fucking forever. In 
information. Two bosses down. Put the fire sword in there. And Drake Lake sword. I might use that actually. Halbert. Get that one in there too. Because I'm going about gummies. Okay, so let's see, level up to here. Get some stamina. Brain. Dex. Yes, I can use two hands. Okay, so let's see here. I love this new armor in mine. Okay, so let me just show you guys this area here real quick before I end the video. I know it's long, but we have to. There we go. Ferris Lock and Stone. That's how I want. Now we can unlock that secret door. <clears throat> At the forest real quick. <laughs> Listen to the pigs. And go in here. And we get another chest. Taking that shard and a torch. I love torches. So this game has been on long because that pursuer boss was a pain in the ass. And 
Yeah, so the NPC guy would be in here once you clear the skeleton. What am I doing? Yes! Another Esker Shard. Ooh, what do we get here? So fast, so nice. Alright, good. We test out the Ring Lich Sword. So, yeah. Alright. Whoa, watch out for that hole. Alright, so I think I'm gonna grind up my, um, hand axe. Oh no, not the hand axe. Well, not Alright, cool. We have yet another Koshio. I'm gonna organize. Another boss Get ring leg sword in there. And get the shield that we just bought in there. There we go. Is that a shard you here to see? However, give her this. We have one human energy. All right. Now we're going to go back to the forest for the last time to get that and the, um, <laughs> That one item. And then I'm gonna end the video after that. <laughs> I am so sorry guys. That took forever. Yeah, my shoe is way better. I'm up. Stop throwing shit. Ow. Oh. Archie. And there's one more over here. Alright, now it's safe for me to get diamonds. There we go. There we go. Another Escafoss shard. You can go back and enjoy the future tomorrow. For total four. Ah, oh, my pyro. Alright, one more to go, and that should be it for our little area. <clears throat> Excuse 
Flowers Brewery interrupted by the Halberts. There we go. Punch. And we get. Yay. And what else? Ah, yes. Just what I needed. Oh, yes. Alright. Let's go back to... Now we can get out of here. And then we can go back to Minjiro. I give the girl the... Shard, and then I'm gonna end the video. And I believe the next episode... Is we're gonna go to the castle. So I meet you guys at the castle part once I'm done with this. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this one. Here to see how There we go. Alright, now I have total four. My god. Shut up up there, I'm making a video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right on noise. All right, now he should be in here. Yep, there he is. Oh, hello again. Hi. You've made it. The map, I presume. Of course. Take a good look. Even more flames have appeared. <laughs> I don't know what causes it. Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came here before. I don't know what explains it. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. But there is something greatly comforting about that flame. It seems to fulfill something very precious deep within the soul. Something Essential. Alrighty. We got everything we needed. Now we can go attack the map. I imagine you're gonna get the the harm. Why not? Thanks. You get to bite? Did I mention before? I was on a journey. The desolation. Yeah, they're all sad. Have you seen that one? I'm no expert. The monstrous thing has a peculiar design. If you should speak to him, would you ask him if he won't sell it? Well, I considered it. Must have. Well, I considered it. Must have. Always open. All right, we can get another Kuharn. Yeah, I look so weird with the with the feather. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Magic weapon. Alright guys, so yeah. I think I'm gonna call it up right here. In the next episode, we're gonna be two Dragon Slayer Dragon Slayer bosses. And I'm also gonna upgrade my axe as well so that I can kill the boss easier. So yeah, whoa, that guy has a big camera. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!